In the last video, we saw the evolution of computers and how calculation and computing revolutionized. This revolution gave birth to a new discipline called computational economics. This video will introduce you to this discipline. The modern economic models have a great degree of complexity and it is not easy to generate an analytical solution by simple assumptions and simplifications. At the same time, most of the problems of mathematical economics involve large calculations and is very time consuming when done manually. Under such circumstance, it becomes inevitable to have access to computing facilities like calculators or computers. The pocket calculators are useful only for basic arithmetic operations. Specialized calculator such as the scientific calculator may be used for scientific, mathematical and financial calculations with many added functions. But very often the economic models involve data analysis that uses mathematical and statistical techniques and here it would be extremely helpful for researchers to learn to use various kinds of computation. Computational economics is a research discipline where economic problems are solved with the help of computer based tools. It is the amalgamation of computer economics and management. Computational economics manages and reduces the gap between calculations and analysis. With the help of computational economics, calculations and analysis is just a click away. It saves time, money and energy. The computational software and tools used in computational economics may be broadly categorized into two groups. Free and open source software which is also known as FOSS. Copyright is an essential part of research work ethics. When a software is free, it tells us about the limits of copyrights of the software. Open source specifies that the programming codes of the software is available and can be modified and reused again in collaborative form by anyone. A major disadvantage of open source software is that it is difficult to know which version is the most updated as multiple development takes place around the world simultaneously. Also there is no guaranteed support and technical help for the software. However, there is a large online community of FOSS users who generally help each other troubleshoot the problems. R, Python, LibreOffice, Skylab are examples of free and open source software. Commercial software also known as proprietary software is paid. Users have to buy or pay for the license. Also, the commercial software cannot be modified. As the programming codes of the software are not shared. The advantage of such software is that there is a guaranteed support and technical help for the software from the developers. Sometimes the makers of the commercial software offer demoware, shareware, freeware, 
trialware having very limited features for the users. Microsoft Office, MATLAB, Mathematica, GAMS, SPSS, eViews are few examples of commercial software.